nice hands. Drives and scores. Hello Cardinal Nation, this is Noah with the daily announcements. To kick us off for the year, Student Council has designed next week as a Spirit Week. Thursday, Stress Up is your favorite artist, whether it be Connie West or Billy Itis. Friday will be Cardinal Nation Day. Show up to school wearing your Cardinal gear in support not only of the school, but the cross-country football and tennis team as well. The CREH chess team will be being in room 312 after school on Tuesday. Come join the fun. All are welcome. QSC will start in the Media Center on Monday, September 20th, or your 2022 yearbook today, the last day to get the back-to-school price of $68 and on September 30th. After that, the prices of the yearbook will go up to $75. Security will start taking vehicles without a parking permit on Monday, September 20th. Please have your parking permit displayed through your windshield. If you do not have a par have a permit, please. Parking in the $2 daily lot to avoid parking violations. Parking violations are $15 each. Well, that's all the announcements for today. My name is Noah, and it's a great day to be a Cardinal. Fight on! Let's go Cardinals! Keep our colors waving high! Where's the, Where's the fan? Where's everybody else at? Where's the fan? It's too quiet! Where's everybody at? Man, it's way too quiet. What? Jeez. This is a rain. What are you guys doing here? The game's not till next week. You guys are early. Show up early, stay late. That's our motto here. Yeah. What do you mean? You know what? You're right. Let's tell them about it. Yeah, so we want people to participate in the half show game, watch it, cheer for them. And we also want teams to cheer for each other at their own games. We also want to attend every game and we want to show our eternal pride and we want to be loud, cheer on the fans. Uh, we also want to, you know, participate if somebody sang a chant, no matter what it is, scream me as loud as you can. If you lose your voice, who cares? You want to sound like Emma Chamberlain, it's okay. <laughs> also, you want to wear the theme. You want to dress up like old people. Wall rats, sorry about that. Then dress up as an old person. I mean, whatever's fun, whatever's fresh, you know, be both. <laughs> no. If oh, you want oh. a jersey out, oh. go ahead and throw on that jersey. Or blackout. Or carnal out. Yeah, baby. Yes. Also, bring your friends. It's way more fun if you bring someone along. Like, I also bring these three people whenever I go. Woo! So, also watch the game, because that's what you're there for. We have the best, most supportive students in all of Minnesota. And we want to thank you for that. You guys always come out and support all of our activities, all of our teams, and we appreciate that and we want you to continue. A couple of reminders when you come to events this year. These really aren't that different, but we wanna make sure that you know. Make sure that you're always bringing your student ID. If a staff member asks for a student ID while you're on campus for an activity or an event, you need to be able to make sure that you show that. We also don't allow any backpacks inside Cardinal Stadium, and we don't allow any tobacco products, alcohol, or weapons. These are huge, huge things. At Cardinal Nation, you've always done a wonderful job. We need you to keep it up. We also want to remind you to support our team, but not unsupport the other team. Keep our chants, keep our cheering, keep all of that appropriate. Whenever we go out and represent Cardinal Nation and other communities, we're representing not just ourselves, but our entire town and our entire community. It's important that you remember that, and it's something that we have always done. Middle schoolers, if you're watching this video, which we hope you are, you do need to be present with an adult in order to get into games. It's very, very important. If you are here by yourself without an adult, we can't let you in. So make sure that you come with an adult guardian. We appreciate you so much, Cardinal Nation. Thank you for all that you do. We're looking forward to seeing you at everything this year at Coon Rapids High School. See you soon. We are running around trying to bring you all the best highlights.
reach for those highest heights as we show you the wins and maybe even a few surprises. Sports Night is next. Ella Hacker has been a leader for the squad for the last couple of seasons. She's really coming into her own, as I just mentioned, as a senior, competing in the 200 individual medley. She's all alone in second place, less than a second off the winning pace. Cardinal Diver is looking strong to start the year. Seventh grader Delilah Smith Jeanette leading the way against the Falcons takes first place with a 165.10. Coon Rapids goes 1-2-4 off the board. Emma Schmidt, another senior that keeps getting stronger, and she has a great race in the 100 Butterfly, getting the wall in second place in a time of 111.38. Hacker with a strong showing in all of her events. She shines again in the 100 Backstroke, grabbing the Cardinals a first place finish in one minute, 6.58 seconds. Cardinals lose 103 to 78, to take a lot of positives, as I mentioned. Coon Rapids be bringing the pressure early on. Great cross out front. Abdullah Mandua doesn't get much of the, on the shot, but it's off the post. The keeper's able to keep it in front of the line. But the pressure pays off midway through the first throw in the corner. Yukon Harmon able to outrace a couple of tornadoes and sets up Jackson Young for the tap-in goal. The freshman's first career varsity goal gives the Cardinals the 1-0 lead. But the tornadoes, they storm right back. Just five minutes later, Great shot from a long way out by Cameron Burrell. No chance for Rising to get to it, and it's one all with 15 minutes to play in the half. Noka took the momentum, and the end, they nearly take the lead, but Luke Rising with an amazing save in the final minute of the half. We go to the break tied at one. Harmon unties it early in the second, weaving his way through the entire Noka squad, then putting it back across to the far side. Phenomenal speed, phenomenal skill, and a phenomenal goal. Cards coming up with a free kick from midfield. Ben Kish with great boot, but Harmon knocked over before he can play. That means a penalty kick. Yukon leaves no doubt on the PK, then puts the Cardinals up 3-1 still early in the second. Noka has scored about seven minutes left. But the Cards hold on for the 3-2. The crosstown rivals slow them down. Cardinals controlling the action early. Corner kick by Molly Knobloch. Lucy win with a good header, but it's just wide of the net. Late in the first, Great through ball into the box. Bailey Rowell racing in. The crash, uh, keeper crashes into her. That draws a foul. Gives the Cardinals a PK. Anna Kepke makes it look easy. Giving the Cardinals a 1-0 lead with six and a half minutes to play in the first. Just about three minutes later, Knobloch with a free kick. Kepke in perfect position, puts the header into the corner. No chance for the keeper. Cardinals have a 2-0 lead at the half. More pressure in the second. Knobloch crossing it out front. Belinda Griffith is there, but gets under it just a bit. Sends it over the net and out of play. Defense is the Cardinals' calling card this season, making it difficult to get good looks at their net. Not a lot on this shot. Pretty easy play for Maddie Reinhardt. Unbelievable action in the final seconds. Check this out. Tornadoes hit the crossbar three times in a row. First on the long kick, then a header, then another kick. And finally, Ryan Hart able to get a handle on it, securing another shutout for the Cardinals. They get their...